Yes, sir! What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Champ, coming to you live with another basketball video, man. I didn't want to go over any of the stuff, any of the trades, any of the easy stuff, the draft itself. We already did videos on that. We talked about those on the previous streams. I'm trying to find a way, a new way to mix this stuff up and add it together, so I hope you guys like how this comes out. But anyway, let's get right to the news. What's the prize? Prices, prices, going up, woo, prices, prices, ah. All right, so we're going to start right here in L.A. To live and die in L.A., that's the way. Anyway, a Blake Griffin opts out of his contract and will enter free agency. He's going to test the free agent waters, and this was reported on today. Um, More or less, he was owed 21.4, I mean, 21.4 million, 21, 21, 21.4 million dollars. And uh, he's going to be an unrestricted free agent, which means he can go anywhere he'd like. I mean, to the highest bidder, or he can go back home. Now, the some people have, have said that he may go to like five potential spots. Uh, some people are saying he might go to Cleveland. I don't even see how that could happen unless they found a way to get rid of... Um, rid of uh, Kevin Love or if they signed and traded Kevin Love or whatever. I'm not even sure that would help LeBron them LeBron and the uh, Cavs get over the hump. But uh, we've got Denver Nuggets as a possible landing spot. The Miami Heat, I don't see why he would go there. They're not ready to win yet. I don't. I just don't see that. OKC, uh, we'll talk about that in a second. Uh, Boston Celtics, ooh, I don't know how he and Horford would get along like that. And, uh, and back to the Clippers. Now, I don't think he's going anywhere unless somebody makes him a hell of a sweetheart deal. But I would definitely opt out if I was him as well. And I'll tell you why, because with Chris Paul being rumored to be going to the San Antonio Spurs and they're rumored to be shopping DeAndre Jordan, they're getting ready for a fire sale and Blake is just trying to position himself to not be a part of the fire sale when it goes down. You don't want to be the last one in the house like Damian Lillard picture and uh, and everybody else is gone and you're just the same, you're just the one that's still there. So I definitely understand with that. Uh, he may be going back, he may not. Or he may be going back home. Uh, he played for Oklahoma, so he may be going back to the Oklahoma City Thunder. That That's kind of interesting. I just don't know how he would work with someone like, like Russell Westbrook. I mean, Russell Westbrook would be able to get him open. He would be able to finish athletically around the rim, but at the same time, you know, it's just it's just one of those things. How healthy can he stay? How much money is he going to ask for? Who's going to pay it? Because he, it seems like Blake gets hurt every year, even since his rookie year when he, when when the uh, the kneecap injury or what have you, it's like he's been hurt every year. He and Chris Paul. That's why it seems like the Clippers just can't can't get anywhere. And so with that being the case, I don't know that he's going to be able to demand a high price tag. But hey, who knows? Bad outside, prices, prices going up. Hold on, prices, prices. Yeah. Do you know what's a damn shame? What's a damn shame is I can put in Aaron Fox draft into Google and I get nothing but pictures of his son, De'Aaron Fox. But lo and behold, if I put in LeVar Ball draft, what do I see? I see pictures of LeVar Ball at the draft. Hell, I bet if I put in Lonzo Ball at the draft, Lonzo Ball draft. I bet if I put in Lonzo Ball at the draft, all you gonna see, they had three out of the first five pictures you got, well, two out of the first five. You got, you got, look at this. This is all you see. You see LeVar. So you can't find a single picture of uh, of Aaron Fox, but you see plenty of LeVar Ball. I don't have a problem with it. A man loves his son. I love LJ. If LJ makes it to the league, were to make it to the league, if he wouldn't trash like me, then you damn right I'm going to be like this every step of the way. I might not be as hands-on, but what he said is something that really, I don't know. He said, this is what he said. Hey, I'm going to tell you what. Lonzo Ball is going to take the Lakers to the playoffs his first year. Come see me when he does. I have another hat on to say I told you so. And the thing is, at first I'm thinking he's a damn fool. But at the same time, he may be a genius because right now they're only 15 games out of the out of the A spot, right? So they may be able to get back to 500. If they can get somebody like Paul George, I think Paul George may get you to 500. But the Clippers, if, if they lose Chris Paul, they lose Blake Griffin, and then they get rid of DeAndre Jordan. I think the Clippers fall far out of the top eight. So that's one chance. But Minnesota Timberwolves have made some strides, and they may have something to say about that. You get a full season of Boogie Cousins and Anthony Davis together. So who knows what that might be. It may be nothing. But, you know, hey, you got De'Aaron Fox on the Kings. I don't think he gets them in there. I mean, they, he may be. there may be some method, a method to his madness. They were not dead last in the East. 
I mean, in the West. But at the same time, they were damn near dead last. But 15 games in the lot if you can pick up Paul George. If Lonzo plays like they think he's going to play. And Brandon Ingram comes along like he does. Julius Randle does his thing. And, uh, and you know, and they get some decent center play. He may not be as crazy as everybody thinks he is. And I'm not going to bet against this man because every single thing that he has said so far, as crazy as it seems, has come to pass. So who am I to doubt it? What's the price? What's the price? Price is going up. Price is. Hold on. And last but not least, man, the question that everybody wants to know, who is the best player in the draft? Now, this is strictly my opinion, and this is just because I saw more of these two guys than anybody in the league because they're, they're some of the most highly touted players in the draft. I think the sleeper of who's going to be the best player in this draft might be Tatum. He might be a little bit of a sleeper. I don't know. It's just going to just, just gonna be whether or not Boston is going to put him in a position to succeed. And then this is for the long haul as well. This year... I think that you're probably going to see the best player in the draft. It's going to look like it's Lonzo Ball this year. But I think long term that this young man right here, D-Fox, is going to prove to be the best player out of this draft. I say that because while Lonzo Ball is more pro-ready and the only thing he's lacking is the mid-range jump shot and a little bit of mid-range game or what have you, it's either a three or he's going all the way to the rack, which is not a bad thing for the point guard or he's going to dish it off. I think that De'Aaron Fox... He's got the mid-range game. He's already got a, a good amount of vision. All that other stuff can come, just like the mid-range game can come for ball. But um, the only thing that De'Aaron Fox was missing to me was the long-range jump shot. And you can learn how to do that. I mean, Jason Kidd couldn't shoot when he came into the league. Mike Conley Jr. couldn't shoot when he came into the league. Even the, even the guy from Kentucky that they that they say De'Aaron Fox is after the most, John Wall couldn't even really shoot like that when they came into the league. And I'm not talking about, I mean, they could make shots, but I'm just saying that they weren't shooters. And by the, by the, by the middle of their careers, they became shooters. Jason Kidd, like third on the all-time NBA threes list. Like how? If you would have seen him coming out of Cal, you would have been like, what? And then uh, you got John Wall. He, he's got a, a nice jump shot now. And Mike Conley Jr. is pretty reliable. Uh, you know, high 30. They all shot high 30% by the, by the middle of their career. So I'm thinking that if De'Aaron Fox can just learn how to shoot this rock, I, I, I don't see why he can't be the best player in the draft. It's a long shot, man, but it is what it is. And that's what I'm going with. Lonzo Ball will look like the better player this year, but I'm telling you, five years down the line, we're going to be saying, yo, that De'Aaron Fox kid can play. And to wrap it up today, guys, I just want to know who your team drafted. We drafted John Collins. Uh, he's not a replacement for Dwight Howard by any stretch of the imagination, but if he can get 13 points and 13 rebounds, hey, you've replaced him. So it is what it is. I mean, I know he's a power forward. He's not really a center. But um, the way that the Hawks run their offense, it... it I mean, Paul Millsap is 6'7", and he's like a power forward. So it is what it is. I mean, if he's going to be on the court, he's probably going to be playing center, you, you know. And and the way that we run is, is if we like big men that can kind of stretch the floor a little bit and just get up and down the floor. He can definitely get up and down the floor, but we need him to be able to learn how to shoot that 15 to 17 foot uh, jump shot. Now, if he can do that, I think he'll fit perfectly with the Hawks. I don't know what else we're going to do. Um, I don't know if there's any other moves to make. I don't know if anybody, like I said the other day, I don't even know if anybody's going to want to come to Atlanta now that we don't have Dwight Howard or any real superstar to um, to hang our hat on. But uh, you guys let me know how you guys did in the draft. I would give us a B. I mean, we feel the need. And, uh, you know, like I said, this guy might be a center. And uh, he, he definitely would be better than Willie Tavares. Uh, at a center, I mean, dude, seven three. They, they thought he was going to be nice. and he, he can't even crack the line up. But it is what it is, man. Don't get me started on these Hawks. I'm about to get up out of here. Who did you guys draft? What do you think about it? And, uh, you know, that's it. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Holla! 360 out this mode.